We were the first to do a reader, e-reader in Japan, and it failed. I came into this job and said, we ought to have an e-reader. And they said, no, no, it failed. And I said, yes, it failed in Japan, but I don't, I don't believe it will fail in, uh, in uh, the rest of the world. And there was some funny moment when somebody said to me in Japan, but Americans don't read. And I said, well, there are 300 million of them. Some of them read. They have a bestsellers list. Someone's reading. And so we launched the, we launched the reader and tremendous opposition inside the company. It was my first bold maneuver, right? And I didn't realize how much opposition there was. And you could have passive resistance in big companies very efficiently, you know. And, uh, and so, we, so then we waited and um, Amazon got there ahead of us. We had a three-year start. But then again, we had a three-year start, three start on music distribution ahead of Apple. Because again, a company, a company that has been built and created vertically for many, many years and been enormously successful at it, it's very hard to change the culture. So what I've had a, a lot of time doing, and thank God for the recession, to create the sense of urgency was that in a digital age, you can't function vertically. You've got to function horizontally. And, um, and, that's, and the e-reader is one of those that can do very many things. But, but, but the, Amazon has a very good infrastructure, specifically in the boutique sense, for delivering books. The same way that Steve Jobs has for delivering music. Indeed, and Rupert Murdoch, but Rupert Murdoch on the iPad is saying it might be the savior for newspapers. Would you would you uh, concur with that sort of view? And well, how how would you like to play in that? Well, well, we are. We have a deal with Rupert Murdoch. We're delivering the New York Post on our e-reader and and Wall Street Journal and other readers and so forth. And does it it, it adds to the volume of products able to deliver newspapers? Do I think everybody will walk around with a with an iPad under their arm? Probably not. But a lot of people will have one. There's a lot of people in the world. A lot of people prefer a smaller device like a, a, an Amazon device or an e-reader because you can put it in your pocket. There are multiple devices for multiple purposes and it will all support the survival of newspapers, I hope and pray. Um, on the other hand, speaking as someone who's my age, the morning newspaper cannot die as far as I'm concerned.